Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name's Noelle and I do unboxings, mostly lifestyle subscription boxes, often with beach, travel, or Hugo themes. I also do a little bit of stationery, books, beauty, jewelry, home decor, and the very occasional dash of Disney. So if you enjoy unboxings, particularly subscription boxes, I hope that you'll consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell. And that way you'll find out whenever I post new videos, which is usually at least once a day. Whenever I announce giveaways, I just announced a giveaway yesterday and there is always a secret password giveaway going on. And of course, you'll also find out whenever I go live. I am planning on going live on June 8th at 5 p.m. Pacific, so hopefully I will see some of you there. As always, if you're already subscribed, thank you so much for being here and welcome back. Today, I have a pretty familiar box here on the channel, although this particular one has been a bit delayed, and that is Sophia's World Music Playlist. This has been sent to me for review. I am so appreciative of this box because it is so unique unique. Now this is technically the April box. She is getting items from the featured destinations, so sometimes things get a little bit hung up in customs. So it is now bi-monthly, which means we are pretty much due for another box this month, which I'm kind of excited about. Hopefully that will be a little bit more on time. It looks like she has had to update her box because the boxes always came so full of items, you guys, that there was always overflow. So this is kind of nice because now she can kind of customize it and personalize it there with a little note on top. And then there was even a little pop where you could have our ticket because this is really set up like an experience, a travel experience. So we always get this little ticket that has our QR codes that give us the playlist. She puts together the playlist with artists from that destination, which I just think is so cool to see the variety, the diversity in every country that we have visited so far. She also does a beautiful booklet. It's really more of a travel guide and it's full of QR codes again so that you can virtually experience that country. Now one of the the coolest things of course about this subscription is that it is going to support artists that have been affected by the shutdowns over the last two years which of course affected pretty much any live musician so she donates 10% of the proceeds to those artists that do work with her on creating the boxes and also are part of the VIP experience there are three different subscription tiers there is the general admission which is just $29.99 that you get the music downloads and a couple of postcards I think there's also the book bag, which is $59.99. Then you get a few items from the destination, sometimes a travel accessory or two. And then finally, there is the one that you should definitely go for if you can afford it, and that is the full suitcase, which is $130. It includes a ton of stuff, a huge box full of goodies from that destination. Again, sometimes a travel accessory or two. And the VIP experience where you get to interact with the musician or musicians that are featured for the box. And I I just think that is the coolest thing because not only do they often do a live performance for you they will also answer your questions about their home country often there's a cultural component we've had a cooking class before sometimes we get some language lessons which of course it's always helpful to hear someone actually speaking the language so again if they if you don't have the opportunity to go to those live streams but you are getting that VIP experience she does tape it so you can watch it later on but for that I think it is such a great box to experience as a family there's even a word search usually included in these little pamphlets so very, very cool. So little note from Sophia. It says, welcome to Singapore. So Singapore has always been on my travel wish list. And from talking to a lot of you, it's also on yours. From the architecture to the blending of culture, I felt that there was so much to learn about this amazing country. So yes, it is totally a melting pot. So it's going into this box. I wanted to showcase the various cultures that make up Singapore, Chinese, Malay, Indian, Peranakan, and many more. The one thing that really came to mind was to create a box that brought teas from some of the cultures and also to give you some unique items to add to your kitchens. I also want to take the time out to shout out our artist who gave us many amazing ideas for this box so make sure to check out your cassette because she left many surprises for you. So then you get this nice like list of all the things that are in there so the dots are indicating items that are in the men's boxes because this is definitely a box that can be enjoyed by the guys too. Sometimes there's some items like jewelry pieces that are obviously geared more towards women so she kind of makes different boxes for different people and then it does tell us which items are included in the suitcase but not in the book bag and this time around you guys pretty much everything is in the suitcase but not necessarily in the book bag so again if you can splurge now that it's bi-monthly it's a little bit easier if you think about splitting that $130 up definitely do 
Then we have our virtual tour QR code. She does tell us some information about, you know, the language, transportation, visas that you might need. It talks about how Singapore is a city of fines. I think a lot of us are still, uh, familiar with the uh, chewing gum finds that you can experience there, some basic Mandarin, Singapore's Singapore's architecture. So a lot of you will know Singapore or scenes from Singapore from the movie Crazy Rich Asians because a lot of it took place at uh, the Marina Bay. So that's that building that look, has water on top of it going across three different buildings. It's very cool. I've actually visited Singapore twice. Once a long time ago when I was still in college because I was living with a friend of mine in Malaysia for the summer and we traveled to Singapore with her family for a few days. And then more recently I was able to go probably in 2015 or 16 and I was actually supposed to meet up with a friend of mine who was living there at the time, but he ditched me to go on holiday with his girlfriend. I was just there for like kind of a long layover, but I did wind up going to Gardens by the Bay on my own and it was actually beautiful. And I had the opportunity to kind of treat myself to some appetizers and wine up in one of those amazing trees. It was super cool. They have an extensive subway system. The best part about Singapore, you guys, is because it is such a melting pot. The food is amazing. The hawker stalls, so good. Like the best food is like to be had at those stalls or on the streets, honestly. And then the merlion, which is the symbol of the city. I'll tell you more about that if we have some merlion, st merlion stuff in here. The Peranakan culture is very, very unique and very, very cool. Uh, Singapore tea culture, Charles and Keith, which is kind of a Singaporean luxury brand, which I had the opportunity to visit. And then in the back, we do have some information about our artist, which is Omni Musfira. I don't know if I'm pronouncing her name right, but this is her. She is a pop and R&B singer, songwriter, and producer. We get advice from her, which is always great to hear. Uh, some artist suggested attractions, which is great. Orchard is like the fancy shopping street. Want to go there for sure. Um, of course, the, um, the zoo, they have a night zoo, which is really cool, which has capybaras, which is the largest rodent and also one of my favorite animals. Uh, food suggestions, gotta love that. Gotta get some nasi lemak, gotta get some um, Heinie's chicken. So Singapore word search and then some fun facts as well. So a very informative booklet every single time. If you guys are interested in subscribing to Sophia's World Music Playlist, you definitely should. And I can save you $10. So the code is now Maui Noel, not just Noel anymore. But of course, I'll leave that link for you in the description box below. All right. So one of the cool things that she always includes besides that little ticket with the QR code for the playlist is a fun like um, keychain. And I just thought this one was like the best. So fair. I wanted to let you know that I did actually take all of the boxes out of the box this time because I had started filming and then the garbage trucks came down my alley. So I just went ahead and pulled all of the boxes out of the bigger box. Also so that we could maybe get through it a little bit faster. But I have to show you how cute that little dragon is. He's so adorable. It's like probably one of my favorite book uh, bookmarks. One of my favorite keychains that we've gotten so far. Then the cassette that she was mentioning. So we have our artist there on the cassette and then it just says travel through music. That's kind of the motto for the box. And then this is actually a USB, you guys. So I'm gonna have to check it out and see what's on there besides some of her music. And again, it's so fun to get to experience a culture through the eyes of someone who is from that destination and we get to like hear their music. It's just, it's really cool. And then this box always has all kinds of candies and treats, of course. So spritzed in there, there was a bunch of candies and treats. We got all kinds of things like these Apollo. I think these are like wafer cookies of some sort. This one is really interesting. I thought it says Popo and it's Muru Muruku Ikan and it's got like a baby. I feel like it's little like baby biscuits or something. So there's that. I just put those off to the side. Now at the bottom of the box, we always get the postcards that are included, I believe, in all box levels. So here is an example of, uh, I think this is like more like Peranakan architecture. It's very colorful and beautiful. Here is a watercolor of one of the merlions that is down by the water. And there's a lot of waterside restaurants and bars that are fun to go to. And then here, these are great postcards. And here is um, one that is showing you kind of hawker culture. So all of those different stands that you can go to. So you basically post up, have somebody sit there at your table or save your table and then go around and get all of the delicious, delicious foods. And then of course, we always have a beautiful postcard featuring our artist and she is stunning. 
planning. So that's usually at the bottom of the box. It was kind of fun to pull everything out ahead of time so that I could show you in a little more detail. Let me go ahead and open up to the page though where we have all of the items listed. A lot of the times she winds up including more than what's listed. For example, this lovely journal. So often we receive a journal in this box. I really like it when it's a more general journal versus one that is uh, specifically for that destination because obviously then you feel like you have to save it to actually go to that destination. But I am trying to be a little bit better about doing a traditional journal when I do travel because one, it's a great place to keep things like receipts or ticket stubs or just um, anything that you collect along the way and you can always paste that in later. It's a great place if you are like an artist and you like to doodle. Kind of thicker pages, more of that natural handmade paper, but I, because of the way it is stitched, it does lay pretty flat and it is just really fun. You're not going to lose that in your bag in that bright yellow color, so it is does appear to be real leather. A little bit marked up on the back, but uh, so that is an item that it looks like was just in the suitcases. All right, you guys, we do have one more edible item that did kind of poke itself out to me, and this is a kind of noodle soup mix. It's uh, Singapore laksa, so it is premium oriental noodle in aromatic coconut and shrimp flavored soup. Um, delicious. I'll totally be eating that. It probably won't look that good because I won't take the time to add all the other things like egg and actual shrimp, but you never know. Sometimes I get a little creative when it comes to taking photos of this box because it is so much fun. So let's see. She did mention that we got a Charles and Keith uh, wallet or clutch. So I'm going to go ahead and check that out. It was actually towards the bottom of the box, but this is exciting to me. Now, I think they were more known for shoes. I will say, even though I am obviously Asian, when I travel to Southeast Asia, I don't go shopping for clothes necessarily because the sizes, I'm usually a giant there. So I'm um, usually even shopping for shoes. Like the biggest size I could ever find there was sometimes a size nine. So I'm not sure if that's true anymore or if they're catering a little bit more to um, Westerners as well. But I was definitely um, not going to do my clothes shopping for, for the year there. So this is lovely. It does feel like luxury. It's got this nice duster bag that it came in. And then it is this beautiful little blush card wallet. It does have a wristlet on it, which of course I definitely appreciate. Love that. So it's really pretty, even though it's pink. Nice little spot for your change, which I also appreciate. And one that's easy to get into. This is a zip pouch at the top. Let me not get it tangled up. Ooh, this is really nice. It does have a key ring on the inside. That's cool. And then on this side, we do have a bunch of card pockets. So definitely a very usable wallet. That is a lovely luxury item there. So it is in the color of blush. All right, we also got some tea and I love this. So we get a lot of tea in boxes. I don't mind that. It is definitely part of the culture here. This is a Singapore breakfast tea. It says tea too. It's a loosely flavored black and green tea. But what is so cool on this tin is it definitely has some icons of Singapore. So you can see there is that Marina Bay building. There is some of the um, trees that light up at night and do like a whole light show. We've got the merlion over here. We've got some noodles soup some laksa so very very cool little tin and of course I'm gonna love the tea as well this I'm not sure I think this is just like one of those refoldable bags which is great to have if you are gonna do any shopping at all I'm not seeing this necessarily on here oh it's a batik tote bag so it is in a beautiful batik print but it's that kind that you can definitely fold back into itself which I'm not gonna do right now because I'll never get it back in place but I love getting those and then we have a beautiful bracelet. I don't know if I see this on here. It's a tiger bracelet, it says. So it looks like it's got like some hematite and some other stones in there. That's kind of fun. We'll put that on. Here is our merlion. So we did get a merlion figurine. We'll have to see what this is made out of. Now this is kind of like a more um, touristy item, which I don't mind at all, but uh, let me see if it says anything about the merlion in here for you guys. Oh, so it's like metal. We've got a metal merlion. That's pretty cool. So let's see if it says what the, the legend is. It says there's an old tale of a Malay prince who was shipwrecked on the island known as Temasek, now Singapore. He and his crew saw what they believed was a lion and aptly named the island Singapore. Singapore, which is Sanskrit for Lion City. Whether the animal was a lion or not remains a point of contention. No lion has ever been reported on the island apart from in the zoo. And then they did actually decide, I think in the 60s, yes, to uh, create it as their sort of 
as their icon. The tourism board was looking for an icon to brand Singapore with. So it is the merlion. There's statues of it along the water. You'll see it on like everything there. So it is definitely kind of a something that you do wind up picking up something with a merlion on it if you travel to Singapore, which I do highly suggest. It is beautiful. It's very clean because of all their rules. Um, this is a pretty little jewelry box. Sounds like there's some stuff kind of rattling around in there. We always get great jewelry in this subscription. So one is a lovely like violin brooch, which would be nice for someone who loves their music or goes to a lot of like orchestral con concerts. So violin, jewelry, brooch. And then we also got this really pretty set. So it looks like, I think it's supposed to be the orchid set because it does mention a jewelry, an orchid set here. So we have a gold, let's see if I can untangle it, a gold necklace. This is actually very pretty with this kind of white stone there and then the orchids along the top there. So that's really lovely, very like kind of Asian vibe to it. And then it does have some matching dangly earrings. I don't usually wear like matchy sets, but I do love a good dangly earring and that's kind of a fun one. So not sure if there's a story behind why we got that particular set. Got something else in a little black box. You guys, this is the box that I always talk really fast and some of you guys always get upset because I just have to try to get it all in. So here is our travel item. Wow, this is really cool. We got some really nice earphones, earbuds. This is awesome. I don't actually see this on here, but this is like our travel item and I'm here for it. We get a lot of Bluetooth speakers in this box, but sometimes it's nice to have a good old earbud that actually has a cord for things where you need to plug into. Um, we got another box. So many boxes. We still have like four more boxes to go, you guys. I know, it's crazy. So let's see if we can do it in a quick clip. There's a lot of bubble wrap involved, so I'm trying to do that nice and careful. What is this? This is a piano jewelry holder. Oh my gosh. Wow, let me pull this out. It is in pink. You guys know I'm not like a pink fan, but it is this gorgeous like enamel and gold jewelry holder, and I'm assuming the top probably opens up. Let's see if I can get it to open. Wow, the top opens up. That is so cool. Oh, we got an extra violin. I'm okay with that. And then inside, oh, it actually has something where it it pops up so that it can stay open. That is pretty cool, you guys. I will definitely take some close-ups for you over on Instagram so you can see how beautiful this, it's pretty heavy too, this little piano jewelry box is. That's really awesome. All right, something else in another beautiful box. I have no idea how to get into this little bag, of course, but I'm gonna try. Oh my gosh, it is tied so tight, so I might have to save that for the end because we are running short on time, you guys. Oh my goodness, I should have untied this too while the garbage trucks were in my alley, right? I don't know if I can get it. Now I, I start to just get flustered and just like kind of peck at it, which doesn't like do any good. All right, so I calm down a little bit. I think I'm gonna make my, make my way in there and then hopefully the other boxes don't have too much extra unpacking to do once I get in there. So this one still has more. So let's keep going and check out what one of the other boxes is so that I have time. This is really cool though. This is a little monk tea strainer, I think. So this is so cool. So here is what, look at how beautiful this is. Look at his little bald head. Oh my gosh. I don't know how that works exactly. And then he's got, oh my gosh, his hat, you guys, is a tea strainer. Do you see all those little that is so cool. And then I think you just like set that on his head. I don't want to scratch his little head, but that is like the coolest tea strainer. Oh my gosh. And it didn't come broken, but I love the like shiny robes of this little monk. Oh, that is super cool. All right, you guys, we have one box that was taking up a big chunk of the space in there. And I'm thinking this might also be fragile, but it did get a little like a uh, little bent up in the shipping because that's what happens when any anyone sends anything fragile to me. This was actually kind of a miracle that so far, knock on wood, nothing was broken. So this must be more tea. This is this Paris Singapore tea little sachet right on top. And then it does say that we got, oh my gosh, you guys, this is so cool. We got a beautiful tea set, which I will probably not get out for you. Maybe I will if I can carefully do it. Oh my gosh. This is so pretty. So let me see if I can pull out one of the teacups. So here are the teacups. They almost look like little bells. 
And then let me see if I can maybe get the teapot out, but I do want to try to come back to that little box, of course. So this is all like kind of kind of put together so that nothing gets broken and it didn't they did a good job look at how beautiful this little ceramic teapot is i just love that color too look at all the detail definitely something and i'll have to take some photos for you guys of over on instagram let me see if i can get into this last box though hopefully i can and hopefully we get a oh it's just tea so it's like loose leaf tea that's hidden in there um so i don't want to burst the bag open it might be in little sachets but i'm not gonna go ahead and dive into it but now i can show you the teapot a little bit more so you guys so much goodness in this box really highlighting tea culture giving us some standards like the merlion giving us a nice noodle soup mix which of course i'm really excited about just the right amount of jewelry and really some beautiful quality items the kind of items that you would actually pick up as your sort of keepsakes if you had the opportunity to travel to Singapore let me know in the comments below if you have had the opportunity to travel to Singapore if so what was your favorite part for me always gonna be the food always 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 thank you so much to Sophia for taking us on this journey it looks like the next journey for June is going to be Italy which of course you know that's gonna be a good box I hope you all enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you all all very very soon in my next unboxing.